Hey people. Okay, I'm making this video today just to tell you what I'm going to be doing this week. Uh, just to fill you in on it. I just got home from work. A uh, pretty busy day. Had about maybe seven classes today. A um, lot of fun. A lot of fun. Mostly uh, uh, small children today. That's what I have on Saturdays. So, <clears throat> uh, this week I'm going to be making at least two videos for uh, vegans for cooking in Asia. And I'm going to be making one video about just uh, the city around in the area that I'm in. I'm still piecing that video together because I'm not very good at video editing. So if anybody has any suggestions for any programs that I could use that are like idiot proof, then please send them, please. Or at least tell me the, the, the name so I can go and, and find uh, more information on it. Okay, the first video that I'm going to make, there's two recipes that I'm going to, if I have time, I'll make a third one but at least I'm going to make two. One is, I ate it, I don't know the name of it in Chinese or uh, how to translate it into English because I didn't ask, but uh, it's at a restaurant across from my house and it's a very, very simple dish to make. What it is, is you have tofu and it's the hard kind of tofu. You can fry it, but you um, don't necessarily have to fry it. Uh, I would recommend you fry just a little bit to cook it uh, to make sure that the tofu you kill the bacteria and, and whatever if you buy it uh, in Asia. If you buy it in, the, in a supermarket in Europe or uh, Canada or the United States you probably won't have the same problem. But uh, if you're in Asia you definitely will, will want to cook it. Uh, then they put onion chives, very finely chopped onions and a few other spices that I'm going to inquire about at uh, with the chef. Uh, we, we get along. and. <clears throat> And it's very simple. Uh, it takes about maybe five minutes, ten minutes to make, depending on how fast you chop. And it goes really good with rice. Uh, it goes really good with other dishes as well, uh, such as um, I'm thinking of the Chinese name now. Uh, eggplant. There's an eggplant dish that I'm going to learn to make, and it's just delicious. And all the ingredients you can get anywhere. They're really easy to get. And the second dish I'm going to make is Chinese dumplings. Now I'm going to make the Chinese dumplings exactly the way that I've been taught to make it here and I have seen the chefs do it here. Um, but it's vegan. There's no eggs, which is a, a huge shock to every single Chinese person I've ever met in China. Because you tell them, you know, can you make dumplings without eggs? And they look at you like, what do you mean? That's not possible. That's impossible. You can't do that. And they look at you like, well, if you don't eat eggs, you're going to die. If you don't eat meat, you're going to die. So um, I've tried to educate a few people here already that yeah, you can. And they taste really good. They taste uh, really amazing. So I'm going to tinker with the recipe a little bit more just to make sure it, uh, it's easy to get. Uh, all the ingredients, as far as I'm concerned, are easy to get except one, uh, which is uh, shirsan jian. And those are a combination of spices in China, but all spices in China you can get anywhere else. You just have to know how to combine them. So I'm going to look up the, recipe, the uh, ingredients for that and put it together. And the last one that I'm going to do, if I have time, is a vegan pizza. Now, I know there's many recipes for vegan pizzas on YouTube, but uh, my recipe will be uh, difficult to get ingredients, how you can substitute them in Asia. Uh, because there's a lot of foreigners in Asia, and sometimes you feel like a pizza, but you're too far away, or you don't really feel like spending that much because it's ridiculously expensive to eat pizza here. But you want to make it in your house, and especially if you're vegan, being vegan in, in uh, in Asian countries is very, very difficult. Um, you, you just can't go to any restaurant. You can barely do anything. So you're forced to cook at home. Especially if you're like me and you're, you teach, I teach uh, linguistics or English. And uh, there's a lot of foreigners that are in similar situations. So it feels really good to be able to substitute and to know how to use. And I'm going to provide the Chinese names uh, just in case there's anybody in China that wants to try it. And uh, the English names so you can uh, easily get it. But I'm going to do that uh, pizza. It's very easy to make. Uh, it takes maybe 20 minutes preparation time. Again, it's mostly chopping and kneading the, uh, the dough. You don't chop the dough, you chop the vegetables. But it's uh, very easy to do. And that's pretty much all I'm going to do uh, for this week. And maybe, like I said, I'm, gonna, uh, I'm still piecing together a vid for uh, the city center and the place where I live. Uh, and then the following week, I'm going to try to make a video of uh, my class. I'm going to pick one of my funnest class uh, classes and prepare an activity and just record it just, just uh, so people can get an idea of what it's like to teach in Asia. Just in case you're thinking of coming and teaching to China, which a lot of people are uh, do, uh, 
a lot of people are do <laughs> and I teach English right a lot of people do then you can you can have an idea of what you're gonna get yourself into and you can feel free to, to PM me if you're thinking of going to an Asian country or Russia or whatever I've never been there but I know the system of of how they teach and that's where I'm going next uh, in about maybe a year and a half I'm probably gonna head over to Russia so if anybody has uh, any questions yeah, feel, feel free to, to PM me and I'll answer them as best I can and if you want any recipes from China um, ask me and uh, it's got to be vegan or vegetarian no meat I don't cook uh, I won't cook meat but I might make a vegan version and you can just add the meat to it later but if you have if there's anything you really want uh, just uh, you know send me a message I keep looking this way because my computer's that way I apologize I'm mental and uh, I'll find out the recipe and uh, translate it and cook it for you so that's pretty much it, and uh, goodbye.